Uh, I recognize my faults and all my sins against you and my fellow human beings. I was conceived and born in sinful. Lord, I am so sorry. I stand on your words in Psalm 51, asking for forgiveness of sins. Purify and cleanse me with your precious blood. My sins and iniquities stand glaringly before thee. O Lord, have mercy. I hold you by your words in Psalm 32 verse 5 and confess my sins. My sins are many, uncountable. My brothers and sisters, close your eyes and mention your sins now. Let's continue. Lord, you promised to forgive all my sins in Isaiah 1, 18, where you say, I wash, wash me to be as plain as snow and be as white as wool. Merciful Father, listen to me as you listen to Israelites in Daniel 9, verse 5 to 19. And have mercy on me, for I have sinned, I have been evil and wrong. Lord, I here repeat the prayer of Prophet Daniel. I have rejected what you commanded me to do and turned away from what you showed me. I have not listened to your servant and prophets who spoke in your name to me. Our kings, our rulers, ancestors, our whole nation have sinned. You, Lord, always do what is right, and I have always done what is wrong. Lord, I brought disgrace to myself and my people and my nation. Lord, I pray you. My soul is restless until it rests in thee. The sins of my people and mine are giving me restless night until I confess them before you. Lord, please listen and forgive us. This is true of me and my family because we are unfaithful to you. I and my family have acted shamefully and sinned against you. We did not listen to you, O Lord, our God. When you told us to live according to the law which you gave us through your servant and prophets, I and my family broke them and refused to listen and obey what you said. O oh Lord, you showed your mercy on Israelites by bringing them out of Egypt, and your mercy is still remembered till today. Please, merciful Father, for I have sinned and wronged you. Do not be angry and turn your back on me, but bring me out of the pit of sin and draw me nearer to yourself. Do not abandon me as a result of my sins, Lord, and never allow me to suffer for the sins of my ancestors. I am praying to you not because I am righteous, but because I know you are a merciful and compassionate Father. Lord, in your mercy, listen to me and forgive all my faults. Give ear to your unworthy and prodigal servant. Father, I am coming back to my senses. Please do accept me to your loving heart. Again, in Jesus' name I pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have seen greatly in my thoughts, in my words, what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault and through my fault, through my grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Repeat after me. Blood of Jesus Christ, say it. Wash me anew. Blood of Jesus Christ, wash me anew. Blood of Jesus Christ, wash me anew. Blood of Jesus Christ, wash me anew. Be silent a while. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, if you have prayed well and removed sins before you, then just minister to you. And any prayer you say after confessing your sin becomes very efficacious, effective. It, it, it takes the devil and puts him in a wind and throws him off you. Let us really try to call the mercy of God each time we are praying so that all the ligaments, the tie tie, the ropes and chains all around us by the sin will be broken and then we can fly in this spirit. Father, we thank you for delivering us. But without your mercy, we can do nothing. We are like prodigal son coming back to you. We have lost like a ship without a rudder and sailing on top of high sea without a rudder, no steering. You know, it's heading to perdition, Bermuda Triangle. Father, we ask you to deliver us and put rudder in our steering so that we can steer towards you, move towards you, hook on to you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Mm. Without your mercy, we are gone. But on the cross, you said, Father, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Mm. I thank you for saving me. I thank you, my Lord. I thank you for saving me. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Hey, thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, my Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, my Lord. Now that the power comes, you have the same color with heavenly beings. If you are a Catholic, you can still go for um, you know, confession, physical confession, and then confessional or you know, sacramental confession and obtain that grace again. <laughs> Remember, there was a pope that used to go to confession two times a, a day. Some people might say, I've not committed any sin. Who told you? By mere sight, you commit sin. By mere looking, a woman, a woman who did not dress well, you already committing sin. He says this sin is committed in the spirit. By mere hearing some bad things, you commit sin. By mere watching pornography, you commit sin. By mere discussions, you commit sin. Sin can come through the ear, through the eye through the nose, through the thinking, internal, mental uh, faculties. You may close your eyes and not see it, but your, your soul is walking. You see yourself do a sign of the cross to start prayer. You see yourself buying something in the market. That's what St. Teresa says. This, the human soul is a wild horse. 
You need to tie it. Before you start prayer, you tie it. Big chain, you tie it down to be there with you. Otherwise, you are empty praying. You are praying, but you are not there. So all these things we have to learn in prayers so that you can be effective, active, and reactive. You know that you are alive praying. Like that prayed by the apostles in Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 24 to 26. They prayed, and the, 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 the house shook. At tremor. Shook the house. Not that kind of prayer. You are praying, you are sleeping. <coughs> you knock on God's house. And God said, come in. And he came in only to look for food. To lie down. I know it's a bit crazy. If you are in governor's house, you want to uh, His Excellency, sir. You knock your hand and he say, come in. And you are let into the office of governor. Why is there, huh? All of a sudden, you start snoring. <laughs> the bodyguard they will deal with you that night, that day. You will learn your lesson. I bet you don't know that God, you snore before mm -hmm. God. How abusive it is. So be active. Be alive. Be sharp. Be invigorated. War, serve God in body, spirit, and soul. Your whole mind, body, and spirit will be applied in serving God, in praying to God. Because God is a living God. You have to be vivified, efficacious, active, and pray. Not sleeping slumber, like a desica, lousily, unconcerned, very weak, unconnected, as if you are addressing nobody else. They are talking to to who you know, nothing, emptiness, and just dressing nothing. That means why why do you pray if you are dressing nobody? Why do you pray? What do you think you're doing? If you are praying, you are praying to somebody and you are talking to somebody and sleeping. Even ordinary human being, your friends. If you are talking with your friend and you are sleeping, say, Oh my, you are not serious. Okay, go ahead and sleep. Go ahead and sleep after we talk. It does, does it happen to you or not? It does. So, each time you are sleeping and you are praying to God, God will say, okay, my son, daughter, okay, sleep. After, you will call me. By then, many other calls are queuing up. By the time you wake up, to go and queue up, you see yourself number 1,000 times. You see, it's the opportunity is lost. So, be active while praying. Active while you're praying. Active while you're praying. And know you are addressing a living being. Living. Who gave you your own little life? Has a mighty life. So, once again, <clears throat> let's call in our brothers and sisters. Yeah. What are their prayer points? I hope before you submitted your name and point, you must have asked God along with me to forgive your sins because sin is a deterrent to succeeding to living martin john paul adon okudele john paul divine connection i don't know open doors we go to kumwa for divine connection aqui on me i bomb Connection of God, Don Jabian Nemeka, Open Door, John Fabian, Ugu Nkiruka, Success All the Way, Eze Budo, Chisum Adeze, Divine Helen, Oka Blessing, Total Breakthrough, also Mwa, Mwa Queen, Sheba Flat, A Financial Breakthrough. Um, we are also Odibo, Shamaka, Total Depression, Adim Amade, Total Breakthrough, Job Ellen, Financial Breakthrough, Infinaya Oshita, Financial Breakthrough, Open Door, Chine Duana, God's Connection and Intervention, Infinaya Joy, Divine Helen, MNK Onzute, uh, 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 God's Blessing, uh, Shaba Makandais, Divine intervention and success in business and marriage. Also, the following 
um, in his pension pens fund, total deliverance, means pension fund, total deliverance, share my cap, pros, divine settlement and connection, Presle Omona, Life Petina, Agukweze, Asogwa, God's blessing and favor, Ndi Koha, Valentine, God's mercy, Eze Lucy, Ukamaka, Divine Settlement, Neka, Wankwa, Releasing of my document, Samson, Afumwa, Financial Breakthrough and Prosperity. Also, I've Chinedu Ezike, God's blessing and total breakthrough, felicitas, Okonkwo, total deliverance and liberation, Ndubisi uh, Ezamaka, Ezamako, God's connection, Chinere Eze, total deliverance, Euphemia Uwurie, Divine Helen, Chibuzo Emebuke, success in business, Atamake Chibweze, total breakthrough, Okamaka Tessi to, to deliver. So, I invite you to be partners with me in this prayer. Mm. I will go to prayer 27. God will lift you up this night. Both spiritually, physically, in your undertakings, in your engagements. Push me, push me, Lord. Push me, push me to a higher level. Push me, Lord. Push me, push me to a higher level. Push me, Lord, push me, push me to a higher. Push me, push me, Lord, push me, push me to a higher level. Push me, Lord, push me, push me to a higher level. Push me, Lord, push me, push me to a higher level. Push me, Lord, push me, push me to a higher level. May the Lord begin to push with a higher level than you are now. Even if you are the highest level, go to the highest of highest. If you are the lower ebb, then you begin to upgrade now in the name of Jesus. When you sin, you hit the floor. But when you are forgiven, you begin to rise again. Tonight, you are forgiven. Today, you are forgiven. Receive your liberation. Receive your freedom. Receive your breakthrough. Wherever you are, distance is never a barrier. Remember, on Sunday, we read about a woman, Canaanite woman, who was asking God to heal the daughter. And the daughter was not there on ground. But as soon as she performed the act of faith, Jesus transferred through her faith, no distance, not being a barrier, and healed the daughter in the home. So right now as I'm praying, the Lord is lifting you up. You are growing in spirit, expanding your business, expanding your faith, increment your family, increment your salary, increment your effort, breakthrough, see you through, Every hold up in your life, I bulldoze them in Jesus' name. I cancel them in Jesus' name. Father, begin to lift your people up from their dungeon. Lift them up from their tethered. They are tethered there. Like Christmas goat. Break this chain. Let them go. Like Lazarus, so many of them are wrapped and kept in a coven, in a grave, in a kingdom in a cell, in spiritual prison, where they cannot help themselves. But tonight, you are sending thunder and fire to scatter that kingdom, to scatter that prison yard, and set your people free, and lift them up from prison to presidency, from prison to presidency, from prison to presidency, from prison to presidency, 
I pray in their lives as they are hearing me now in various intentions they have. Please, Lord, do it. We remember one Nigerian president. He moved from prison to presidency. Person of ambassador. So I am asking you to bless all of them now. Bless all of them now. Bless all of them now. Let them move higher from where they are. Salary, effort, success, business, family, personal, father, do it again in their lives. Those who have asked, those who are asking, and those who are not even here, Father, spread your tentacle of blessing on earth, all of them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. In Egypt, you did it for Joseph. Father, you brought Joseph also out of the prison and made him minister for agriculture. Father, you can do it now, again in our time. People are laughing, your people, like a laughing stock, planning what to do to them, but they don't know your own version. They can never know your version. Father, this hour, I am asking you to visit your people all over the world as I'm praying right now. Begin to release them one by one like you did to St. Paul and Silas when they were singing and praying in the middle of the night. Thunder blew. Oh, and struck. Blew off the doors, shattered the chains on their hands and legs and set them free. The jailer came in and thought they ran, they ran away. They said, no, we are here. Amen. You are, don't be afraid of any threat. God is with you. At the appropriate time, God will come. Peter was destined to be killed in the following morning. And in the middle of the night, the angel of God came and broke the cell and brought him out alive. He was thinking, he was dreaming. So it will be like you. You will be like a dream. You will be like a dream. You will be like a dream when God will lift you out of this dungeon, out of this trouble. Release your paper. Release your money. Release your everything around you that have been held in the spiritual world and you are suffering here in the physical world. It cannot continue to happen in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. I break that yoke. I am now using this vocal prayer to reach you wherever you are. To hear me, to know what is happening around you right now. Father, that they are no longer held down. Their chains are broken. You are, say, my chains are broken. Say, my chains are broken. Say it seven times. My chains are broken. 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 Hallelujah. Wave your hand and thank the Lord for breaking your chains. For breaking your chains. For breaking your chains. For breaking your chains. Chains of sin. Chains of debtedness. Chains of poverty. Chains of sickness. Chains of death in the family. Chains of uh, barrenness. Chains of effort without fruition. Chains of failure. Chains of disappointment. Everything begins to turn around now. Turn around, turn around, turn around in the name of Jesus. Mm. I can see the light shining upon you, my child. Oh, daughter and sons of God, begin to glorify God for you because you are blessed. You are blessed this night to be partaker in this prayer. You are blessed. Indeed, 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 you are blessed. Oh, Jesus, Chiribara Maka Saka Tarama Kurobo Kuchin Karibaba, Urinda Raba Kurobo Kuchin Karibare Raba Kasaka Tarama Kurobo Kuchin Karibaba, Urinda Raba Ruba Kasaka Tarama Kurobo Kuchin Karibara Bakasa. Jesus, mm. the Lord is good. Mm. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Daddy Mo. Thank you, my Lord. Let's go to that sound prayer 27. Prayer 27. What does he say? 
upliftment of destiny. Page 105. Page 105, prayer 27. Prayer for upliftment of destiny. Verse 1. Heavenly Father, the giver and designer of destiny, behold my destiny and push it to highest level. In Isaiah 49, 9, you said, O Lord, I will command the prisoners to go free and to those who are in darkness to come up to the light. I stand on this verse and command my destiny <clears throat> in prison to come out from the prison yard. My destiny in darkness come out to the light and shine in Jesus' name. God, you know me more than I know myself. I need a sign in my life that will shamefully disappoint every plan the enemy and demons have set up to hinder and prevent the total manifestation of my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree. Lord, you said in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, that before I was born, you know me and destined what I will be. Lord, make it manifest beyond the enemy's manipulations. Today, God has destined me to be great and worthy, and neither powers nor kingdoms will stop it in Jesus' name. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. By the power in the word of God, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, 18, nothing can stop my star from shining. Any spirit or human or kingdom that will rise against my destiny again from now shall be arrested and prosecuted, pierced, slaughtered, and sliced like green vegetable by the angels and archangels and other warriors of heaven in the name of Jesus. Any further attempt to tamper with my destiny, my star, oh, it will encounter fire for fire, thunder and fire, thunder and fire will blow them. I want you to repeat with me. In Jesus' name, say it. I live, I am lifted higher every day. Say it. In Jesus' name, I am lifted higher every day. In Jesus' name, I am lifted higher every day. In Jesus' name, I am lifted higher every day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No matter their conditions, it is all over. I prayed for all of you. Names mentioned are not mentioned. You just don't cooperate to you. Otherwise, I've said it. But just to mention your name, that you are a partaker already in the prayer. Stephen Obona, uh, Nkemvera, Ifoma Chris Okafo, uh, Izuchuku Ugochuku, Emeka Christopher, Cynthia Chisom, Peter Cosmas, Francisca Okoro, Judith Eze. Yeah. Chiazo. Yeah. Chika Jen Obiwa. Kirian de Ventuit, John Bosco, Onye Kachi Nzube, Martin, Aisia, Chika Jen, Ijoma, Inyoha, Wavo, Moma, Chijoke, Grace Oluchi, Wodo Chinere, Joseph Chukodi, Shadrach Onu, Kasiamobi Annabelle, and all that whom were not able to capture their names. Just know it every week like this. I keep your prayer points on the altar. And that's why even after we have prayed, you keep on receiving answers to your prayers. 
<coughs> yes, because here is slaughtered in the word of God, and I'm going to keep it in my altar. And the masses I say every day is just on this. And so you are not losing. You are there, already there, connected. So once more, I thank God for you. I told you, you are learning to pray and you are following me. You can never err and you will also always apply this method we use and you see yourself selling to you. And God will be listening to you. But first of all, know that you are not worthy to be heard or listened to by God because of our frailty, weaknesses, failures, sinful nature. But God in his infinite mercy, like he did to Samson the Great, who erred greatly, sinned greatly, yet in that condition, he forgave him and made his hair grow back. In the same way, the prodigal son came back in his state of scholar. He still worked on them and clothed him with good clothes. You are today invited as this kind of people. God is ready for you. May God come to bless you. Just why I brought this paper, this work is a kind of work showing me, showing you that I, I was worse than you. This work is showing I was worse than you. Don't believe you me. Just like St. Paul was killing the Christians in those days, he didn't know what he was doing. Like was myself. I was like this. Sometimes I will find time to begin to drill you on this my journey in the world, a court kingdom, where I waited, I swam like it. So I want you to know that no power can overcome you. You are a child of God and God loves you. As they know how to swim water, they don't know how to swim fire. Say, I am a child of God. Say, I am a son or daughter of fire. Look at it. Hebrew chapter 12, 29, God read it. Your God is a consuming fire. Look at fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. Our Lord is a consuming fire. And when they pursue you, run into the fire and hide. They cannot swim it. Amen. Say a bigger amen. They cannot swim fire. They can swim water, but not fire. Hallelujah. And Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 says, you are a flame of fire. You, looking at me, you are a flame of fire. Your flame. What is the flame at the top ones? And the fire is holding. What is the difference between the flame and the fire? <laughs> you are one. Like father, like son. So you are son of fire. You are a daughter of fire. Say nothing they happen. Shake your body and say nothing they happen. Shake your body and say nothing happens. Say you are not afraid. God is with you. Be strong hearted. Believe God has had your prayer this night. And testimonies are yours. Always click along the line. So... At this point in time, I wish to thank God for making you partake. Remember, um, you might have other lines of ours, but make use of the ones we give you for attention, proper attention, such as 081. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it. 66. 08. One seven nine. The other one you can call directly zero eight zero three five nine zero six six four zero. Do I repeat the first one? Okay. The first one I said zero eight one six six zero eight five. 179 and the first one for WhatsApp that 179 is for WhatsApp in case of those of you who are far away who cannot make direct calls and those who can make use of direct calls can use that of 080-3590-6640 so and not every time we can pick you know we're always busy that we give these lines to help you not to uh, fall prey to scammers. I also gave you my uh, PS number, which you have it there. 
and he mentioned it at that time. I think um, you take note of it, and uh, if you can reach us, definitely not all the time you can see us or talk with us, but here on a day like this is your day. So, in case you want to reach the PA, you can always call uh, that last number, which we forward it. That VA zero a zero three two eight nine eight one three five zero a zero three two eight nine eight one three five. So don't be deceived. To be four one is to be four and may God continue to be with you as we meet on Thursday for another bout with the devil. So there, we expose the devil's uh, power and how useless he is if you are in God. Once more, God bless you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.